हाई ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर मोनिका सिंह अ पीडियाट्रिशियन वेलकम टू आर चैनल मदर योर चाइल्ड वी प्लानिंग ऑन स्टार्टिंग अ वैक्सीनेशन सीरीज फॉर आर चैनल वेर इन ईच वीक वील टॉक अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर वैक्सीन वॉट इज द वैक्सीन प्रिवेंटिव अगेंस्ट वॉट आर द साइड इफेक्ट्स एंड वॉट आर दफ वॉट इज द इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ द वैक्सीन एंड इफ देर आर सम स्पेशल पॉइंट दैट पेरेंट्स नीड टू नो बिफोर दे गेट द चाइल्ड वैक्सीनेटेड so this week we would be talking about bcg vaccine or also famously known as the tb vaccine now in bcg is an acronym for bacillus calmet gerin bacillus refers to the rod shape of the bacteria calmet and gerin were a french microbiologist and a french veterinary surgeon who held respectively who held perfect uh, the vaccine over a period of 13 years TB is very common in children who are less than five years because their immune system is not yet fully developed, and in such children, lungs tend to be more involved than the other systems. Now, TB diagnosis in children sometimes gets difficult because the TB investigations require sputum, which is sometimes difficult to take out in case of children. Now, let's talk about the BCG vaccine per se. it is one of the oldest vaccine which was first available for human use in the year 1921 so it's almost been 100 years and it's the only effective vaccine against tuberculosis till date now bcg vaccine is available in dry powder form it contains around 0.1 to 0.4 million live bacilli or live tb bacteria which are injected into the child intradermally it's mostly given on the left upper arm intradermal injection means giving the vaccine in the skin now you must be wondering that we are injecting live bacteria live tb bacteria in the child but why is it not causing tb infection it is not causing tb infection because the bacteria has been weakened in the vaccine the bacteria has been weakened so that it provides immunity but does not cause infection Now, immediately after vaccination, there are no side effects. There's just an injection mark on the left upper arm. But after two to three weeks, you'll notice a swelling or a papule, as we call it, developing on the vaccination site. Gradually, over two to three, over another two to three weeks, the papule will increase in size, and then it'll finally rupture, causing a shallow ulcer, and subsequently it'll cause a scar to form. So. that is the famous tb scar or the bcg scar that all of us have on our left arm in about 10% of the babies or in about 10% of the children there is no scar formation which is also okay now when is the vaccine given the vaccine should ideally be given at birth preferably within the first 24 hours if for some reasons the vaccine is not given in the first 24 hours it should be given as early as possible before the child gets exposed to the infection it can be given with other vaccines at birth it is clubbed with hepatitis b and oral polio vaccine these three vaccines are given at birth hepatitis b bcg and oral polio vaccine now if a child has never received bcg vaccine and the child is less than 5 years you can get the child vaccinated though the protection rates will not be as high now let's talk about the effectiveness of the vaccine if a baby is vaccinated in the first 28 days the bcg vaccine provides a protection rate of up to 99 up to 59% in cases of uh, pulmonary tb the rate varies between 40 to 70% in various studies which have been done across the world and a protection of about 70 to 90% in cases of meningeal and miliary tb now meningeal and miliary tb are severe forms of tb meningeal tb is basically the tb of brain and spinal cord miliary tb is disseminated tb where the tb infection has spread to various organs of the body and the duration of protection of the vaccine has been found to be up to 15 years in certain studies but it is all variable and there are no fixed numbers that we have for it let's talk about the side effects of the vaccine or the adverse as we call it aefi adverse effects following immunization now it depends on three things the type of strain used there are two strains or basically two types two subtypes of the vaccine one is copenhagen strain and the other one is pasteur both are available in india number two depends on the 
number of bacilli injected as in the number of bacteria injected through the vaccine number three it also depends on the injection technique of the vaccine there are two side effects that need medical attention the, fun, the first one is injection site abscess wherein there is abscess or pus formation at the injection site number two is suppurative lymphadenitis which ref which is nothing but swelling in the neck or the armpit due to swollen lymph nodes suppurative lymphadenitis is mostly due to faulty injection technique that, that means the injection has not been given properly now there are some extremely rare side effects of bcg vaccine like disseminated bcg disease or iris iris refers to immune reconstitution inflammatory syndrome i'm sorry i'm burning you with a lot of information but for the sake of completion we need to know all this um so iris and disseminated bcg disease are very 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 uncommon in normal children it's basically seen in children who have some defects in immunity now comes the fun part skip it or inject it inject it because it's a single dose vaccine which is only given at birth and it prevents the child from pulmonary tb meningeal tb miliary tb and all other forms of tb and since tb is very prevalent in india it is best to get the child vaccinated against tb i hope this video was helpful for you in some way if you have any questions if you have any suggestions for us please feel free to reach out to us and if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching bye